there are the large models out there like OpenAI and Claude, and there are the open source models that are free like Llama, for example. But I see a gap in between. Many devs could potentially be selling access to their models or their data sets. And today I'm going to show you all an easy way to do so. Now I've been selling access to models of Trellis Research and also data sets for the last three months. I started off just by paywalling these and having some simple payment links. Then in the background when somebody would pay, I'd give the buyers access within 24 hours. Over time, I've started to automate that process. And now I've made that into a platform that anybody can use to automate the sale of their models or their data sets. Here's a quick example of the flow that we're going to try and achieve. First of all, we'll have some kind of model. Trellis, for example, has this Yi 35B Lamified Chat super fine tuned model for function calling. And you can see that it is gated. So people normally don't have access to this, except if they purchase on this button here. Now they're brought to a Stripe payment link where they enter their email. Importantly, they enter in their hugging face username. And so when they check out, I've automated a flow that will give them automated access once they come back to this repo landing page. There are a few things going on underneath the hood, but I've tried to simplify it with this new website, Trellis Mart. It's available already at mart.trellis.com. And I'm going to take you all the way through the flow for getting set up with Trellis Mart, which will allow you to automatically paywall your models and data sets. And additionally, at some point in the future, you can also show them on the Trellis Marketplace. So let's get started. We'll start off here by clicking on Sell Models or Databases. This will bring us to a login screen. If you're here for the first time, you want to go to Sign Up. If you're coming back for the next time, you want to go to Login and tap in your email address here. OK, I've received the email and I've grabbed the link from the email, which brought me back here to Secure Login. Now, before I get started with managing products, I first need to complete my seller profile. So I'll go into my seller profile. I'm going to put in uh, an organization name, uh, my sample organization. And you can put in your Hugging Face username, but it will also be automatically populated when you put in your Hugging Face ID. Uh, you can upload an image here. I'm just going to upload a generic image for now. And next, you need to input your Hugging Face access token. This is stored in encrypted form. It's needed because this is what automates access to your customers when they buy your products. So I'm going to go across to um, the Hugging Face page. I'm here on my Hugging Face page, and I've got a sample repository that I'm going to want to automate access to, or rather sell access to. First off, I need to get my Hugging Face access token. So I'm going to go to Settings, and I'm going to go down here to Access Tokens. And here, this will allow me to just create a new token for Trellis Mart. It needs to be a right token because you're giving access to customers. I've generated the token, copied it. Once the token is in there, I'm going to click Save. And that is going to encrypt the token and save all of the rest of my details. Now that I've got my profile almost set up, I do need to go down here and connect a Stripe account. This is how I'll get paid out. So I'll click on Connect. And once you've connected your Stripe account, you'll see it listed here. This will be the account number. It's going to be quick if you already have a Stripe account. If you don't have a Stripe account, it will prompt you to set one up. That should take a few steps. You'll need to put in some details around your business. So I've clicked on Save, and now we can go ahead to Manage Products here. Under Manage Products, I'm going to add a new product. The product I'm going to sell is a sample data set, as we saw earlier. The price for now, I'll just put in as $99. It's a data set, so I'll select Data Sets here. And now we need to put in the repository URL. Here we are on the sample data set page. I'm going to copy the URL here. Make sure to get in the HTTPS and don't have anything trailing after the name of the repo. And we can just paste that in here to repository URL. And the product description, which will appear on the Stripe payment link as well. Um, let's just call it a great data set. Now that that's done, we'll create product. You can optionally add an image here. And now that the product has been created, I'm being prompted to add this uh, little prompt to my Hugging Face repo. And this is what allows me to gate it. So let's go over to the repo here. We can create a data set card. 
Often you might have a data set card already. If you don't, if you do, you just have to add this line here into the header. This will be here, my data set readme. Let's commit that. And now that should gate the repository with that Stripe payment link. You can copy the payment link if you like and check out what it looks like. So here we go to the payment link and you can see that uh, this is the sale of a sample data set for $99. And the description here is a great data set. Customers will put in their details here, their hugging face ID. And when they pay, they will automatically get access to this repository here. Now, if you like, we can just look at this repository in another new window just to see what it looks like. So let's just uh, open up here that same repo and we can check that uh, indeed, yes, I do not have access to this repo, but I can purchase access to it by checking here. And if I do make that payment, I'll have access to the repository. In addition to making it easy for gating your repositories and selling access, Trellis Smart will also have its own display of some of the top products. Now, when you create a new product on Trellis Smart, it's not automatically in the marketplace. Your payment links will be fully functional and people can buy access to your repo on Hugging Face. But to be listed in the marketplace, I'm going to do a manual review of the different, of the different repos that are submitted. The key things I'm looking for are that when I go to the model repo card, um, I want to be able to see what data sets it's been generated on and make sure that the licensing is very clear. The purpose of Trellis Smart is to allow people to sell models that are commercially licensed. That means if the models are for research use only, this is not the right venue for selling them. And I think it's important for those who are buying to have a clear understanding of the license conditions and that at the very least, the models can be used for inference for commercial purposes. That's the very minimum that's required if you want to host or if you want to list rather a model on Trellis Smart. And that's an overview of Trellis Smart. The pricing model for this is 10% commission taken from the seller's take and the seller is also responsible for paying Stripe fees. Over time, I'll hope to expand access to other platforms through Trellis Smart as well as well as provide better information to customers on the details and especially the licensing of the models. But let me know this is a very first step. I'm keen for you to try it out and give any feedback in the comments or else on trials.com. Cheers.